Today we are looking at the um, uh, one of the problem. Um, uh, well, which is the condenser fan chattering um, on a Panasonic split system. Um, customers been calling me about a couple of months ago, um, about half a year. Uh, complaining that um, the um, the the system is not working sometime and it's well it would um, solve up the uh, problem of a um, compressor overheated. Well, and one of the guy uh, who is this one? Okay, oh, yeah. let me see. Uh, Frank, why good technician? This is a Panasonic CU RE18. It's five kilowatt. It run out for ten I refrigerant. Uh, well, Frank is actually calling me a couple of months ago about the uh, problem that uh, one of his customer, you know, um, complaining that um, you know, sometime is showing up with overheated problem this one was installed um, you know like a while ago six seven years ago seven years eight you know and it starts so enough now you know um i um i check the problem and what's come to this i see this one is the scr what's you know driving the uh, the fan motor, the condenser fan motor. Now this SCI is faulty, so I'm gonna show you how to replace it today, and what what we need to do after replacement. Okay, let's look at the uh, problem. This won't even work. It's not even work. Let's turn it off. Okay, let's look at a uh, uh, fan. See the actual problem in. It's not working, so this one is dying, completely dead. Okay, let's turn it off. Okay. Yeah. Once we um, shut the power off, you have to wait until the uh, the capacitor here discharged properly. Once you hear that click, big relay has been released, and uh, that means it discharged. The power is, is actually discharged. Let's see. Okay, it's only seven volts, so it's safe to touch. Okay, um, on Panasonic, you see that they have a layer of like a tin, um, you know, a glue. Tin. Panasonic put on the glue to cover the components. In fact, you know, it's um, because of um, people complaining that um, 
you know, the um, if the circuit track leaves left, you know, like expose without any cover at all to protect it, then you know, like bugs or ants or vermin can get inside the circuit board sometime and then you know short circuit at it. But in fact, it doesn't work. <laughs> goes up like these and not cover I mean I can feel it it's not cover and now that's in this you see this very thick layer of glue the same glue is cover the microprocessor what it is increasing the temperature when it's working okay and getting to a promoter um, fault uh, because of its cover and the heat is got not nowhere to go so it's overheat and faulty it's also that you you need to be careful um, in this case you know i can show you hold on it's just very often after repair you have to look for this otherwise you will see a surprise phone call and people complaining some other fault might happen and you know um, along the track and uh, you can't explain but in fact it is the uh, manufacturer problem you can see the little thingy here the ball here hold on I'll get something else to show you maybe a meter will be See this, this one, it's moving, you see, okay, one here, and I think there's one underneath here, but anyway, these are the one that you have to look for and take it out, okay, after you repair it. I got a couple of them here before earlier, so I have to take them all out, I got to clean the circuit track as well. Well, look, the, um, the, the vermin protection glue is actually, um, I think, the reason uh, for mainly for them to, to put it on because of, you, you don't see it on Daikin, you don't see it on um, new Fujitsu, you know, you don't see it on, on same side. So like, um, this one is one of the Samsung, you don't see it on here. Yeah? No, no clue. All right, you don't see it on us or the other frame. But this one is uh, is Fujita. You know, Fujitsu, whatever. This one is Fujitsu. Fujitsu. Okay. Uh, you don't see them. However. However, I still prefer, if it is okay, buy Panasonic because of, um, f first of all, for technician, it's very easy to work on because of it's only one side, single sided circuit board. Unlike this one, you see the top circuit board, you see the track everywhere, the bottom track as well, which make it dif more difficult. But you know, it's still doable. Uh, certain thing is, I prefer Panasonic. Is you know, well, I I would advise <laughs> Panasonic is okay. You know, not that I uh, shown you a problem here and you say, ah, this brand is shit. You know, in fact, it's it's good one. Okay, um, well, um, it's also have a um. Uh, have a, uh, a good design okay good design so with the lower voltage output to this one this is the the output I say would drive the compressor the output voltage to the compressor is lower much lower than the other brand like say for example LJ is about uh, 200 volts but this one is only about 90 volts so because up the voltage L is so small 
okay then they can save on the component you know um, on the component so because of the voltage is low so they can buy a good quality component which you know designed to run at low voltage uh, cheaper because of if the higher the power the more expensive the component would be so this desire to run on lower um, voltage you know um, then it's gonna give you um, well a better quality you know on the component anyway and cheaper component um, well but apart from the glue this glue and you know a um, couple of problem other problem like the component overheated and fail you know unpredictable then yeah you're right um to uh, to provide a evidence you see that the high voltage output to the compressor eh? and you can see the um, the color started to you know to I mean, it's, it's this color. This this is not the original one. You see, it's because of it's it's overheated. This you have to look for this and and take the glue out, resolder it, okay, and put the similar glue back on to cover the track. All right, after repair, this have to be done. Also, you need to look for a distance, okay? Sort of bare breath, all right? Uh, and well, because of like once again, it's cover under the uh, the glow, which is you know retain the heat and the heat develop over time. And for the reason as well, you see, it's the track is started to flake off, flake off. All right, so this one dry, the glue here dry, it's turned white. The glue here is not, you see. So, and this as well, I found a, a circuit track here. I mean, a solder joist is dry, so I have to wet it again, re-solder again and uh, yeah that's that's what you have to look for and and fix that um yeah otherwise one day you will hear a phone call or a surprise uh, problem <laughs> in fact it's not nothing to do with you but um or, or nothing to do with the previous repair it's just the way it is like say for example if you see this board which is um uh, let me see the there's there are two other ones that i have just received a couple of yesterday is quite similar to this model like uh, this one okay the board number a745 437 well you see it's overheated and this one is uh this one is the uh, uh, Kevin better air filter BCB burn no communication. All right. Um. Unlike unlike this one, the filter part of it, the filter and communication is on this board. There's another small board connected to this one, but this one is you know for the on-demand to me so it's quite different so well the uh, communication is right here it's come here see that it's come three I'll put this one down yeah it's a calm three calm three it comes to the red wire which is this one which is this one and then go to the terminals okay the filter board bcb and um, the filter part of the the system is on the same bcb including the communication whereas this one uh, 
this one is similar model, similar size, but you know the difference is it have its own filter PCB and communication coming right here. This is a track for communication. This burn is the resistor underneath. There's their resistor was supply to this supply the IC uh, to be rectified, not filter rectify only, and supply to the um, to the communication opto coupler. All right, this one this burn need to be fixed. That's why when it's burned like this, and he said no communication, no com. All right, let me put it back on. Well, um, let me lift it off. Yeah, so this is the board number. You see, because it's run lower voltage to the compressor, so you can see they pick out a much lower voltage for the uh, yeah, DC link um, filter capacitor. Fil filtering capacitor, you see, this 350 volt. So 350 volt, 50 microfarad is much cheaper than the 400 or 450 volt. Okay, um, with the same capacitor, capacitor. So that's why, um, well, the PCB lighter, um, you know, and then it's um, it's, it's reflects on the cost of manufacturing. And uh, yeah, the only thing that you have to be careful, like once again, um, these um, you see, it's 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 dry, it's dry, it turned yellow. Some of the circuit track here turned yellow. You see, dry. And well, to add insult to the injury, okay, Panasonic wipe out all of the number on the component. And then they put a white dot, which is the um, look like a paper, liquid paper. Okay, so it's impossible for you to read the number. Okay, that's the thing. So um, and while we are on this circuit track, you know, um, of Kevin, the air conditioner installer, and no come, yeah, no come. I will show you this. This look a lie. But then, it's have the same uh, fan system configuration right here, all right, same thing. But in fact, this model is different because of, you see, you don't have the these IC. These two IC is driving the ACE XV, okay, so this model is run on the fixed um, uh, capillary chip system, all right, for to to meter in the refrigerant. Whereas you see this one, yeah, yeah, okay, no chip, wood chip. This one run ASV, all right. Uh, once again, yeah, after repair, you need to look for a small thingy solder. Is it like this? This one is not cover. This part is not cover. This one is cover. Well, you tell me why. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is the other side. How it look like. Uh, yeah, this one is no communication. So I'm going to fix this board. But then we still have to check for right joy sort of problem you know overheating problem all that sort of thing have to be fixed before you return back uh, there's another circuit board which is also similar to the one that I saw you before this one okay with the track as well the circuit uh, the board number is A746196 What's the same thing? Okay. Panasonic replies those surface mail 
register with one big one. Okay, so this is this, the other version. This one to prevent the heater from uh, the, um, the 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 register from overheated and then no communication. Well, unlike this board, which you have filter, uh, we have uh, you know uh, communication, everything on the same board, and and it's um it's a um, well it's it's a reduced version. Anyway, this one you have a separate board similar to the one before okay for main power filtering and communication you see com3 the board before is right here okay <coughs> see that burn and big resistor okay so this is the, the other version <coughs> still using the low voltage component and all that yeah which is good um, when it run it run very smooth um, yeah goes up it's running on lower power a uh, low voltage so it will give you you know um, well which this would be a good design <laughs> however let me show you uh, this one stay quite good. No communication again. <laughs> Still doesn't fix the problem. Uh, they they shouldn't be let, put in a register, uh, just simply a register there. You know, you have to put transformer or something. Uh, otherwise, you have Panasonic have problem again. This board I just show you before with no TXV or AXV. See, no exact way. This this version and this version the same, uh, same model. This board and this board and this board the same model, it's a different version. This one they run the AX way. Okay, so you have this chip and this chip. This one you don't. See, this one run on um, capillary chip. All right, the CPU is quite similar. And it's also covered in, um, you know, with glue, all right? Yeah, the, the solder, bad solder, you know, there. It's right underneath the bubble, yeah. Okay, you have to look for it. It's also, you know, like um, overheating problem and all that sort of thing, okay? Um, like say this, this one is the um, the uh, the uh, the IGBT. Uh, this one is the IGBT runs on what is that? Uh, 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 um, uh, PFC power factor correction. Okay, so. You see the black ring around the pin that need to be taken off and check the pin so that put the glow back on all right so the difference is the three the three main panasonic pcb look quite similar to one one to the other there's two different um version you know of the same board which is the chip run that indicate the system running with uh, AXV okay electronic um, um, whatever couldn't remember anyway so yeah that's what it is so mainly is whatever you repair whatever the fault after that look for the bad solder bad joy uh, dry joy, you know, dry glue, clean it all up, all right, and um, and these components are impossible to read. 
the circuit cover under glue is overheated slightly and it's almost impossible to yeah to replace you have to clean all of the glue to take the component out anyway yep and yeah not not um not only daikin uh, not only daikin would come um, you know would you for daikin is very Panasonic and Daikin nowadays is very famous for communication problem. <laughs> communication problem. Anyway, the fault is communication. All right. So no communication between the indoor and the outdoor. Uh, like Daikin, I just mentioned before. Now problem with U4. U4 is actually just uh, power supply. And, you know. Um, uh, need to be checked first. Uh, the uh, what else? The register just like this one, just like the the board that I saw you before. Uh, up to a couple of and uh, couple of others, you know, um, circuit that bias and control the uh, indoor outdoor communication. Well, if you try all that and it's still not working, well, it's time to replace the board then. Okay. But anyway, that is very common. I don't know why people out there keep throwing our system, you know, with um, simple fold like this. Say, for example, this one, you know, it's very simple. Anyway, uh, what I'll do is I will uh, I will scrap scrap out the you see this the reason I make the video today okay uh, don't forget to check all right to check the uh, solder bad solder and all that well, um. We wanna reply these easy. You know, take you <laughs> some more time to yeah. Doesn't look like it's going through anyway. You see, that one doesn't clean it off. Mm. To go for the big one, it's a big pointed, um, big, bigger pointed, um, you know, pear tree here, or uh, the proof to take it off, okay, and then find something smaller to do it, clean as much as you could, and make, and make sure it's clean, Okay. So it's clean and then yeah. Oof, we need to wait for this thing to hit off. Come on, quick, quick. I'm gonna take 
This one now. Now. See that? It's gone. Somewhere. It's gone. That's it. Yeah. See? There's a sort of bow inside the glue there. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Now, and clean this one too. People, I've seen people using a wire brush <laughs> and then you cut all of the small circuit here. Okay? Don't use a wire brush. Don't use a metal wire brush for the job. That's the only way. If you have better way to do it, let me know. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, People have better idea all the time. Who knows? I don't know if you can see, but this one is slightly lift off the pin. This one, the pin is moving, lifting. Panasonic is good then. You buy other brand, you will have the other problem. You know, they all have problem. Um, so I would say um, other brands good as well. <laughs> all right. I don't use aircon. I have aircon in this room, but um, I don't use it much. I use the evaporative cooler instead, and it's quite strong. I installed it about 10 years ago, it's still going well. Anyway, it's, yeah, it's one to have taken off the glue, it's fairly straightforward. If you have the vacuum pump, um, the soldering um, you know, tool, then use it. Otherwise, I'm, I'm, I'm just showing you how easy it is to do it manually, you know, from, from your normal soldering iron and the uh, sucker. Have this one clean it straight away, my friend. Okay, don't leave it there. You forget it. Yeah, once you clean the uh, the glue is off, it's fairly easy to do it manually. Yeah. 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 One more to go. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need any other fancy tool you know, to, to do this job anyway. Just clean off the glue and get it done. Yeah, we will. I'm gonna resurface it when install the new one. Okay, now 
to resolder that with one hand on the nib to hold the component the you know you just slightly put a little solder in here to temporarily holding it back and yeah there you go Set one make sure that your temperature is about four three hundred sixty um not three hundred sixty yeah not too hot here yeah? because of this circuit track is very thin um I would say from my experience uh four hundred twenty degrees my diameter you know what that temperature you have to really quickly lift up the tip of the well of the sauron okay and clean it okay uh yeah and, and this one seemed to be need to fix but anyway that is for another die I'm gonna have uh, you know to put it on again and see the fans working. Okay, I powered it on. Okay, power on. Yeah. See. All right. Okay, that's all it is. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the other part where we fix all of these, you know, tracks. But uh, that's all for today. Enjoy.